City leaders are finalizing plans to build a new state-of-the-art biosolids waste treatment plant. Local News 8's Chris Nesman went up to Rexburg to talk with city leaders. And Chris, what makes the future treatment plant different from others? To answer your question, Jay, it's all about the process. This plant treats human waste just like any other treatment plant, but how it does it and what the city can get from it is what makes the difference. Most of us flush our toilets without thinking twice about where it goes. For folks in Rexburg and especially city leaders, it's something they've been thinking about a lot, especially with new apartment complexes filling up with hundreds of new people. We grow one of those about every year, so we're picking up five to seven hundred each year, and that's a lot of flushes, and we have to take care of that. To take care of all those flushes, the new treatment plant will use the same process used in pasteurizing milk. It heats up the waste to sterilize and break it down. It also creates Class A byproducts that can be used in fertilizer. Rexburg city leaders say the plant will be large enough to handle future growth in Rexburg. This is set up to handle up to 55,000 population. Uh, right now we're in the near 30, so we're looking at substantial, probably 20 year plus uh, utilization of this facility. City leaders say the plant also has the potential to generate electricity, which could help offset the price tag. That initial price tag is a very expensive $5 million, but the city did emphasize that it's a long-term investment because the plant can be easily expanded for when the city's population continues to grow. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Chris Destwin. All right, thanks, Chris. Rexburg says the current goal is to have the finished plant running in about a year. I like the, the mayor said that.